We are back, Port Aransas, 7 a.m. Checking out the sunrise on the surf. We're gonna hit these waves again. We're gonna put some rods out here. We're gonna see what we can catch. I got some new bait, brought some mullet today to add to the squid and the shrimp combination we've been using. And let's see what we get. You can see here, I got some lines out here. Oh, the sun's right in the way. Anyway, I got one over here. That one's my mono. And I put some, uh, I put a half a mullet and some shrimp and squid on that one. As soon as I hit the water, I pulled in about a 10 inch whiting. This one over here, I got on my braid. I've got that one with the mullet head and some squid. But that shrimp is what they're hitting like as soon as it hits the water. So more shrimp, I'm gonna line this one up, put it back out there, make the magic happen. Okay, just reeled in a cat over here. Toss that back. We don't need any of that nonsense. But there it goes again. I'm telling you, on the shrimp, as soon as it hits the water, I'm getting bites. So far, smaller fish. But I think I gotta change this other rod to shrimp. Yeah, you know, the mullet head's not doing anything. All right, I gotta get. I got my second whiting. So like another. 10 inch whiting or so. I'm gonna toss him back. Not quite what I'm looking for. Holy shit, guys. Check this one out. First for me. Check out this fat fucking Papano. Are you serious? This is just right off the beach, off that shrimp and squid combo. Check this thing out. That's fish tacos, baby. Woo! Guys, that Papano was unreal. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't do this all the time, so I'm not used to catching awesome big fish like that. Damn. Guys, this is Port Aransas coast fishing. This is where it's at. I immediately had to get my rods hooked back up. What's interesting is a couple of days ago, I was getting all the action on the time with the braid. And I thought maybe the braid was less conspicuous because it's kind of like aqua tone color. Last two trips out, it's been all about this mono line. No matter how I'm rigging it up and no matter what bait's up, oh shit, it's going again. I'm serious, this mono rig, it's just like I can't even get it out of the water. All right, I gotta go. Okay, another quick tip while you're fishing at the beach. If you've got a line out there that's been out there for more than, that's been out there for like more than five, 10 minutes, reel that in. There's no bait left on there. When it comes to this, just the turn of the surf, all the different little fish out there, the crabs, the shrimp, the crustaceans, like, bait doesn't last out here in the surf so if you're wondering why you haven't got any bites in half an hour and you're staring at the same rod that's because there's no bait on that thing so every five ten minutes just reel these things in if you're just seeing nothing going on man i gotta keep my eye out because these things are biting fast and furious over here but um keep that in mind no action you got no bait reel it in cast it back out there you don't waste your time fishing with empty lines uh decent little whiting this guy's right on the edge do i keep it or not since I have the pompano and I'm gonna be cleaning fish anyway, I'm going to keep this. If I didn't have anything else, I probably wouldn't, but you know, economies of scale, I'm keeping it. Going Man, I've been staring down this sun all morning. I feel like I've got max sunburn. Huh, how do you get sunburned by 9 a.m.? All right. I'm going full protecto mode. This makes my wife happy. Gotta protect the skin from the sun, come prepared. All right, let's keep slaying them. Fishing beers. Too bad I didn't bring my lime and my chilada mix. But hey, it's never a bad day fishing at sunrise on the Texas coast, I'll tell you that. Look, I'm out here. I'm not a fishing expert. I'm never gonna claim to be. Well, maybe, I mean, never say never. But I am out here to give some tips because you can come out here know absolutely nothing about what you're doing i watched a couple of videos i saw some basic rigs i got some basic rods and you can just come out here and have fun and catch tons of fish man I, you just can't beat this nowhere else in the world nowhere anyway we're out here i don't know all of a sudden actions died or did it Uh-oh, someone's getting nibbly. 
Gotta go. All right, I felt it get nibbly. Decent sized little uh, beach catfish here. Taking them out, tossing them out. Let's get this bait back out there. Uh, black drum. Yeah. Hey guys, I was about to pack it up. Check it out. Nice black drum. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. I was about to pack up. I was like, man, it's my last bait run. And my pole was like totally slack. I was like, what happened? My pole was totally slack, which I tell you, that's a sign something's on there. It was like so weird. It was so far in. And I reeled it in. And dude, check out this drum. All right, man, this bad boy, 18 inch, almost four pounds. I'm gonna double check the limit. Pretty sure this is a keeper and this is gonna be nachos, tacos, or fried fillets. Happy fishing, y'all. Texas coast. All right, last reel of the day. I was just reeling in my line and I had a fish on it. <laughs> Little whiting. I'm just gonna toss him. I got plenty of food to eat today. Hey, it's been a great day here on the Texas coast. This is Jake Adams from Port Aranza saying, happy fishing and I'll see you on the beach. We are leaving the beach. Awesome morning. Stayed out a little longer than I wanted. Um, but you know, when you start catching the big ones, you just wanna stay and catch one more. I got my nice keeper pompano, nice keeper drum. And then I just had that throw on whiting, which had I known I was gonna catch these other two, I would have tossed back. But it's too late now. We're gonna have a couple of tiny whiting fillets. Tiny whiting. Anyway, hey, this is the Texas coast, guys. If you're new to fishing, don't be scared. Get out here, just get a couple of rods, throw them in the water, hook them up with some shrimp, and you really can't go wrong. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, I shared some information you needed. Hey, hopefully you had a good time. Maybe you learned a thing or two and maybe you got a little more encouragement to come out and enjoy the Texas coast. This is Jake Adams once again, signing off. All right, we're gonna clean these fish and eat them up.